Today we're praying for Chad in Central Africa. It has a population of 11.5 million and an estimated 1.2 million evangelical Christians. 80% of Chadians live below the poverty line and since independence in 1960, Chad has experienced violence, conflict, coups and rebel activity. You can use the following prayer points to inform your own prayers or simply pray along with me now. So let's pray. Father, we cry out for Chad, considered by some to be the world's most corrupt nation. As conflict between the Muslim North and Christian South, as well as between tribes, creates great instability, we pray for a stable and just government committed to doing the best for all. Father, we're saddened that tribal divisions infest even the church. Please unite believers in Christ. Also, Lord, please protect them from false teaching and the influence of traditional religions. And we pray for provision of funds and safety to enable pastors to be trained. We rejoice that Muslim converts are emerging, some reached through Bible storytelling on Chadian Arabic radio. We praise you for the loving witness that met many escaping Islamic violence in Darfur. But Lord, as Muslim social influence grows, we pray that Christians will be motivated and effective in evangelism. Chad has more unreached people groups than any other African nation, but there is more openness than in most majority Muslim countries. Please would you move many to plant churches, to train pastors, to evangelize, to teach the Bible, and to carry out holistic ministry. Finally, Father, with only 12 of 120 language groups having a Bible, we pray for more translators. Spread the gospel among the Saharan and Wadu Four, the Shua Arabs, and the Najamina people. We pray these things in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. These prayers have been informed by the excellent book Operation World, published by IVP. And please keep praying around the world with us at clayton.tv.